Hello guys, Neapolitan Times here, welcome to a new video and today as you can see I'm not alone as I'm joined by my 2012 MacBook Pro as today I'm going to teach you how you can factory reset your Mac Okay, so as you may know and if you don't know I'm telling you now I bought a 16 inch MacBook Pro which means that I'm kind of getting rid of this MacBook Pro but not really, you know, I don't get rid of any Apple products but it's going to my dad and because it's been very laggy and very unresponsive and I just want to delete all my, uh, my files I'm gonna factory reset it uh, which means I'm gonna bring it to the configuration that it had when it left the factory except of course with the latest software that it supports which is actually Catalina, the latest version so not too bad but yeah, so the process is really simple actually you don't need to download the OS or anything before uh, so yeah, in this video I'm gonna show you how to do it so let's get started okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to go to the system preferences and make sure that we have disabled um, find my Mac so to do that depends on the OS version you have if you have Catalina there's an icon here that says Apple ID if not, we go to Internet Accounts and we click iCloud and then we scroll all the way down and see Find My Mac. If it's enabled, we just click here and we will have to enter our password and then it's disabled. In my case, I have already disabled it. So what we're going to do is write in, we're going to uh, go to the Apple menu and click Restart. And while it's restarted, we're going to hold down Command plus R in the keyboard. So we click Restart, click OK, and then hold it, hold both keys. Actually, you can see everything that is behind my studio right now. We just keep them pressed. OK, so now once you have the macOS utilities, you can release the buttons. And now we would go to Disk Utility, open it, and then select the hard drive where the software, like the operating system is installed, which is usually called Macintosh HD, but I renamed mine to macOS. And we're going to click Erase. As you see, mine is almost full. I have one terabyte and it's only 31 gigabytes left. So we're going to click Erase on the top, and yeah, we will give it a name. And the format uh, must be macOS Extended Journal or if you decide to use Apple File System which is APFS you can just select that and just click Erase and do take into account that, that when you erase this all the data that's on the hard drive will be deleted everything so if you want to backup you should do it before you can do it using Time Machine or any other backup software or if you just want to backup select files you can just uh, copy them or drag them into a hard drive uh, so as you can see it's done erasing so now we can click done and close the disk utility if you we go to macOS you can see that it's pretty much empty so everything is gone now and now we will click reinstall macOS click continue and as you can see I get macOS Mojave because I had not updated to Catalina so when we click continue it will start thinking for a while and then we will get an error message saying that the server could not be contacted and that may be because uh, I was running macOS Mojave and it can no longer download macOS Mojave but it should download Catalina so as you can see it says that the recovery server could not be contacted so we need to take some further steps okay so the steps that we need to take are to shut down our Mac give it a little moment to make sure that it's shut down and again you can see all my lego collection at the back <laughs> and now we're gonna turn it on but we want to press command option shift let's do this with one hand well actually command option shift and r so do this and just restart it By doing this we will start the computer, reboot the computer from Apple server and we will be able to download the latest uh, macOS version 
So as you can see, it's starting internet recovery. This may take a while. So we just hold down the keys. Okay, actually we can release the keys now. And oops, select a Wi-Fi network, enter the password. And now we will have to wait a little while. So actually we got another error pointing us to Apple support, but what we're gonna do is try again. Okay, so as we kept getting errors, I was troubleshooting and I had to come to my bedroom to plug it in via Ethernet, which I couldn't do in the studio. I will have to fix that for the future. But yeah, as you see, now we get this bar, progress bar, and we get a timer that's actually about one minute till it's downloaded. So we will see what happens next. I'm sorry that it's not the glamour of the studio, but all the mess of my bedroom. It's about to finish. Now we get an Apple logo. And now it seems like it's turning on. So we will see what happens next. We get a second bar again, and we get macOS recovery. So it says it's examining volumes, reinstall macOS, and now, yeah, now this worked because you can see that instead of Mojave, it's the Catalina icon. So yeah, macOS Catalina. So just to troubleshoot what I did in the background while you were not, where I was not recording, I tried to connect to Wi-Fi, but it kept getting, giving an error. So what I did was connecting via Ethernet. And this worked just instantly. And just doing the same, uh, shutting down and restarting while holding Command uh, Option R. And yeah, so now we should click Continue and it should work. And it should start downloading the the operating system. Yeah, we get the license. We agree the license because of course we have read. We select the hard drive where we want to install it. Install and continue. So yeah, we now just have to wait for the operating system to install in the Mac. So this is gonna take a while, so we'll be right back. So now finally, after quite a while and a few errors, our Mac OS is successfully installed. So we can now just start with the setup process. Or if we don't uh, want to set it up, we just want to set it or whatever, we press Command Q and it will ask us if you want to shut down and we can just click yes and it should shut down yeah here we go so yeah that was the process now let's go ahead and finish the video okay so after quite a while of doing a lot of things and a lot of errors that we got here uh, the Mac is finally set up uh, actually the errors were good because I was able to fix them so I now can share with you how I did in case you encounter the same errors and yeah uh, as I said, in my case, I'm going to give the Mac to my father, so he will enjoy a brand new Mac, which is factory reset, which is pretty good. But this process is especially good if you plan to sell it, as it will erase all of your data and it will be ready for a new customer. But yeah, uh, that's everything I wanted to show you in this video. If you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe uh, for more Apple rated content coming every week. Also, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments and I will do my best to answer. Also, Though I must tell you that I'm no expert in restoring Max. I've only done it twice in my life and this was the second. But yeah, I will do my best. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.